welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you my fourth of july decor i know it's still a little bit early but i figured i would just decorate and share this tour with you guys that way you can start getting ideas for my entryway mirror i usually have just a magnolia wreath on here but for fourth of july i really wanted something different and i found this wreath at michael's i just loved how different it was and kind of has like ruffles or ribbon and of course the red white and blue with the stars so i just loved it and i thought it was perfect for this area and then in my vase i have two flags and then i also have a little green plant next to it the welcome sign is from target it usually stays on here year round and then this is just a picture of me and my husband at our wedding he is still currently deployed he left a little bit before christmas time so this month will be six months since he's been deployed and he was supposed to be coming home soon but with COVID-19 everything is kind of just up in the air right now so having this decor up has really helped me out and staying positive and just hoping that he's able to come home soon. On my coat rack, I kept out the same straw bag that I've had up here for my last few videos. That is from the Target Dollar Spot last year. I just added a little scarf in there from Hobby Lobby. And then on the wreath, I just added some red, white, and blue ribbon. This area stayed the same. The only thing that I switched out were the pillows on my bench. The white one is just a pillow cover from Amazon. And then the American flag one is one that I found at the Target Dollar Spot last year. Moving into the living room, I added a few pops in here. So on the mantle area, I kept out the same candlesticks I usually always have up here. The home sweet home sign is a sign that I've had for a while already. And then the firecracker wood decor on the other side is from Michaels. And then that pillow is from Walmart last year. On the side table, I just switched out this picture. I added one that kind of went more with the theme. This one is a picture of me and my husband at our first ball together, which was several years ago. And right next to that, I added this heart that is from Hobby Lobby. I kept all of these same pillow covers that I've had. I just didn't want to overdo it with the colors and then the patterns as well. So all of those stayed the same. And then just for my coffee table, I did add this plant that I found at the Target Dollar Spot along with this red candle. Moving into the dining room inside of my hutch, I love how this area turned out. It is probably my favorite so far. So 4th of July 2014 is actually the first time me and my husband met. So it definitely holds a special place in our heart. And of course, us being a military family and my husband serving in the Marines for eight years, I always love to incorporate my husband's picture and his dog tags in my display as well. So I just really love all of the Americana decor in here and just the red, white, and blue. I love how it turned out so bright and cheerful. A lot of the little accessories that I've used are either from Michael's, Target Dollar Spa, or Hobby Lobby.
on my kitchen table, I just added greenery inside of that vase and then moving into my coffee bar area. My mug rack usually has a little bit more decorations on it, but I kept it very simple because I did bring back out my baskets that I always get so many questions on. These are actually from the Target Dollar Spot, I believe, last year. And in the baskets, I just added a variety of different things. Mostly everything is from the Target Dollar Spa except for the USA plates. Those are Ray Dunn and I found those at TJ Maxx a few years ago. But everything else is from there. These straws are from the 99 cent store. For my coffee bar shelves, I kept some of the similar items that I always have up here and I just added some flags, the Coke bottles I had from last year, I added some bowls on this shelf with some mason jars, the little tray is from the Target Dollar Spot currently along with the Celebrate America sign and then I just added some pictures that are from Ray Dunn. On my countertop area, I have my tools crock and I always love to switch out these spatulas in there. I have a few of these now. This one I found at Michael's and then the red one is just one that I had from Christmas. I just turned it around. And then I also have some cutting boards, my salt and pepper shakers from Ray Dunn, as well as the little home planter. I purchased this kitchen towel at the Target Dollar Spot and I just love what it said. And then moving on into this little nook that I have on this side next to my toaster oven, I have my tear tray and I just used a lot of items here from Hobby Lobby and Target Dollar Spot last year with some Ray Dunn. So on the tear tray, the star and the sign are from Hobby Lobby. The little ramekin bowls on the left side are from the Target Dollar Spot. The sweet container and the heart mug are way done. And then I just added some wooden spoons in there with some straws. And then lastly, for the centerpiece in the middle of my bar area, I set out a cutting board along with my Made With Love canister. And then I recently bought these Happy Fourth ice cream bowls. I added a flag in there along with some fake ice cream. And then the scoop was also part of that set. And I love how it looks displayed in the middle of this area. So that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys.